guys. So a few days ago, there was um, some more information about uh, the NX and possible uh, GPU um, power and what uh, could be powering the graphics of the next Nintendo console. Uh, an article on WCCFTech.com entitled AMD Updating Entire Graphics Lineup in the Coming Quarters. 14NM and 16NM Arctic Islands GPUs arriving in 2016. And it goes on to say that, um, talking about the NX, um, basically this GPU is a new, f new family of GPUs from AMD that's going to be starting in uh, 2016, which is very good timing um, for the Nintendo NX, which is strongly strongly hinted and rumored to be coming out at the end of 2016. The article says in a portion here, I'll read it, um, this graphics architecture will power everything from next generation mobile and desktop GPUs to APUs and semi-custom chips. Now semi-custom chips is what uh, AMD is developing for the NX GPU. It says uh, there's also strong evidence to suggest that Nintendo's next generation gaming device, Nintendo NX, which is coming next year, will be powered by an AMD semi-custom SoC, making it a very likely candidate to feature AMD's third generation Arctic Islands GCN architecture. The flagship GPU in the family has been numerously uh, purported as Greenland, which is set to be AMD's most powerful and most advanced graphics chip to date. Now, um, I'm not a super pro at these at the technical aspects of these um, chips, but the um, performance of this new Arctic Islands uh, G GPU is supposed to have um, two times greater the energy performance efficiency as opposed to the previous generation of GCN graphics cards that AMD was releasing. Um, the current gra graphics card that AMD has is the, the R9 uh, 370 or 380 and 390, the Fiji R9 uh, Fury and R9 Nano. Those are the current generation GCN graphics cards, uh, the, the 1.2 GCN. The graphics cards in the that's power, powering the PlayStation 4 and to a lesser extent the Xbox One is based on the first generation uh, GCN. The uh, graphics core next is what GCN stands for, not GameCube Nintendo. <laughs> but that would be cool if uh, Nintendo put uh, that in the um, specs of the NX that it's powered by GameCube Nintendo GCN. <laughs> but anyway, that's just a joke. But so um, if the NX is using these uh, heavenly, heavenly hinted at cutting edge chips, uh, industry leading chips, uh, it would make good sense that they would use the, um, basically the next generation uh, Arctic Islands uh, GPU because it has the, it kind of fits the Nintendo mentality of using less uh, uh, power hungry chips. So it has high performance with two times less the energy used from the previous generation of um, graphics uh, cards, like the uh, AMD R9 390, for example. Um, and it would be two generations ahead of the PlayStation 4 graphics card, which is basically um, uses a AMD Radeon uh, 7, 7870 GPU, which is a good GPU, but by that time it would be four years old, the technology, and the um, GPU the NX would use would basically be brand new, which uh, they're still developing right now. Of course, the dev kits are still in development. Chipsets are being modified. Um, so this might be uh, what the NX is using, and according to this, it's a heavily... Um, there is strong evidence to suggest that they are using this in the NX. So if that's the case, then the NX is going to be a really um, powerful in performance 
not necessarily using a ton of power since the energy efficiency of that chip, but it makes perfect sense for Nintendo to use it. So the performance would probably be beyond, well beyond PlayStation 4. And um, of course, that's the GPU aspect of it. The CPU um, is still unknown, but like we talked about before, it would be integrated in one chip, just like the PlayStation 4, the APU design. Um, basically, AMD makes these APUs, which is the CPU and graphics card fused into one chip. And the benefits of it is the low energy use and the high performance of fusing the CPU and GPU on the same chip. It basically makes the um, processor and the graphics card work so closely together and feed the information so closely together that the latency is almost non-existent and it's very beneficial in a console type uh, technology um, development so uh, will the NX use the Arctic Islands technology it's a very good chance it could and um, before I read about this, my guess was that they would be using some kind of a um, R9 380, which you know those, those graphics cards are about $190 um, and on retail, and in, in a bulk deal, they could, Nintendo could get quite a bit off that price. But if they're skipping that because um, that graphics card does use more energy, if it would make really good sense for them to use a, a, the Arctic Islands technology. The CPUs that are, that are rumored to be used uh, for the NX could be a variant of the new Zen um, CPU that AMD is releasing next year also, or around that time. Or they could be using the um, ARM processor, uh, the ARM Cortex processor, A72, which is their, their best um, ARM uh, CPU, which is great for mobile devices. So it's hard to say at this point, but we do have some hints um, and strong indications that the the, um, the, ind the NX is a very powerful and well efficient um, system. So uh, that's it for now. It's just speculation, like I said. So don't take it as fact. And uh, we'll we'll uh, go over the information more later when we have more information to go over. All right, guys. We'll talk to you later.